to lift the shower, taste in my mouth, and the opportunity to come out here and step on the tour. How good did you think your stuff was today compared to usual? Did you think you had seven innings in you coming into the game? I was just trying to go as far as I could for as long as I could. There wasn't anything that, you know, I was like, wow, this is really working. I was just trying to get hitters out, and whichever way that was, bad contact, off balance, whatever it is. Uh, so just trying to go as long as I could. How did you think your stuff was? I mean, did it feel I felt normal? good. Um, then again, that might be adrenaline just going. I mean, I'm still shaking now from it. So um, just to be able to go out there, like I've been saying, I just went as hard as I could for as long as I could. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate how, it. How tough was it after that first inning? Uh, you give up a couple runs there to kind of shake that off and get back in the groove. Absolutely. You have to. I mean, it's a long game. And, you know, in the first inning, you can overcome crooked early. So I had faith in our offense that we were going to score. I knew it wasn't going to be a 2-0 ball game. So, you know, I just had to go out there and keep making pitches and, and knew eventually the offense would come through like they did. And how, how excited were you when you saw Paven with the big, big hits both times? I about lost it. Um, you know, you got to keep your cool when you're pitching, you know, kind of stay even and, you know, not get too high and too low. But I about lost it when he hit that ball out and then to hit another RBI, and it was it was really exciting. How comforting was it when you see Nathan Kirby come in and, and seeing his slider working? Huge. I mean, all the confidence in the world in that kid. I mean, he's one of my best friends on the team. I love him like a brother. You know, I wouldn't want to pass it on to anybody else with him.